supposed to protect his South London prove the asylum system is broken. Should under 18s be banned from rugby, and is it wrong to keep monkeys in zoos? With me, Jeremy Vine. The show it is, it's the second of February already, and joining us today we've got journalist Dawn Neeson and author Andy West. What a panel, everyone! Here's what's on the show. First, is the asylum system broken? It's been revealed the man suspected of carrying out that terrible chemical attack in South London was given asylum despite being convicted of a sex offence while he was in this country. Abdul Azidi is now wanted by police after the horrific incident that left a mother and a three-year-old girl with potentially life-changing injuries. Let us know what you think of this. We will! <laughs> then should under-18s be banned from playing rugby? Researchers say it's a form of child abuse. Yeah, Andy agrees with this. Because kids are at risk of brain injury. What do you think? Did you play rugby as a child? you scarred by it? Or do you send your kids to play rugby and it's great for them? Then is it wrong to keep a monkey in a zoo? It's the getaway that's captivated the country after a five-day monkey hunt, not a man hunt, involving drones, Honshu, the Japanese macaque, has been returned to his Scottish wildlife park. Experts say he may have been trying to escape a fight during breeding season. Should he have been returned, or should we just have said, good luck, mate, you got out, we're leaving you to it. Then a look at some of the stories in the papers and online, including the TV star upset that men are no longer wolf whistling at her, by the way, it's Sabina. In 11, it's talking telly with Tony Robinson, the star of Blackadder and Time Team. But he's talking about this brilliant series where he turns up on the set of the Madame Blanc mysteries. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. 11, the Dean Storm, joined by Georgie Barrett and Nick Freeman. 12.45, Alexis Conrad and friends with top tips on how to keep your home warm this February. So, pleasure to get through. Here is how to get into it. I think that the guy who was doing this thing of, in the high wind, is, uh, it, it's not as windy as it was when he did this. He was blown away by the show. If you are, call us. The number is 020-786-2222. And the, <laughs> the show, off there. 16 p.m. minutes from the handle. <laughs> Go on, tell me. Mobiles may be zero. If you're ringing for a mobile, it could be more expensive. Okay? And then there's the social media. This is where it gets really exciting. Yes. So, firstly, we have Twitter, now known as X, if you can bear all the abuse. Instagram. Then there's the other one that no one's on. And and after that, we've got what we call the Facebook. I know it's, it's Facebook. Some of these people email about that. And the other... Oh, wait, it, it, there's one more. Oh, it's TikTok. TikTok. Plus, we've discovered YouTube on the show. If, if you go, you can type Jeremy Vine on 5 online. If you're on YouTube, when you type Jeremy Vine on 5, you will find our YouTube channel to catch up with our best bits. There we go. So many ways of getting in touch. The blow is the best, probably. So I had a bit of an experience last night, and I want to just run this past you, right? Okay. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a, a group. There's a group called English National Opera, very famous. They have this incredible base in London. They've had a bit of bother recently because the people who give them a lot of their funding, Arts Council England, have told them you've got to move to Manchester or whatever. You know, they're doing their best to do it. It just comes as a bit of a shock. But the thing is, what they do is really good. So they did The Handmaid's Tale as an opera. Okay. And, and uh, so you can see, just, just have a look, it's spooky, right? That's how it starts. Wow. You've got all these hidden figures just appear on the stage. And, and, and then if you are one of the handmaids, you go to search probably for your missing husband, in the case of the heroines, who's known as Offred or Off Stan or whatever, you know, they've all got off men's <laughs> names. And then they're bullied by these female guards, they've got these tasers, and essentially it's, it's as an opera, and it really was weird and great. I would go and see it again at the drop of a hat. And, and crucially, unlike a lot of operas, it was in English, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, and it was subtitled. 